I'm currently in uh, Plata Catalunya, uh, about 100 metres or so from the, the top end of uh, the Ramblas, the site of uh, last night's uh, vehicle attack. What we've seen in the last half hour here is uh, the Spanish king uh, leading a minute of silence in commemoration of those who died and a crowd of several thousand, I would say, gathering here, uh, laying uh, floral tributes, uh, lighting candles, uh, etc. There was also uh, a spontaneous uh, round of applause broke out uh, in, uh, in the wake of that uh, minute of silence and people joining in in surrounding streets. There's even what you could call, I guess, kind of impromptu uh, tribute march. Uh, some as that applauding crowd started to make their way uh, down uh, the Ramblas. Obviously, uh, this is a city which prides itself uh, on its openness, uh, on the number of visitors uh, that, it's, that, it's, uh, that it's brought in, particularly uh, over the last uh, couple of decades. And the message we've been getting from people in the crowd is that they want to, they want to keep that spirit going. They won't be, won't be cowed uh, by, by this kind of thing. Chris, what can you tell us then about where the investigation stands? Well, all eyes uh, really at the moment are on uh, this manhunt still for the uh, driver of the uh, vehicle which uh, took part in the uh, Barcelona attack. Now, the Spanish media, quoting uh, police sources, say that the investigation is focused on the search for somebody who's been variously identified as either 17 or 18 uh, years of age, thought to be the younger brother of uh, one of the three people arrested yesterday, a Moroccan man taken into custody uh, in Ripoll, which is to the uh, north of Barcelona. It's been pretty clear for several hours now that the police have been quite uh, quick to link uh, a series of events, the attack uh, in Barcelona, the attack later the same evening further down the coast uh, in Cambril, in an incident which took place in the town of uh, Alcanar prior to the, uh, the Barcelona attack, namely this, this, uh, the, the, this uh, case of an explosion taking place uh, in, in a house. And we've since had uh, the Reuters news agency reporting that police do now believe that uh, the explosion took place owing to gas canisters, which they suspect were being prepared uh, for a use uh, in an attack. At the same time, uh, we've had various sources quoting um, the police sources saying that they're looking for up to a, a terrorist cell of uh, up to uh, 12 people. So three people already in custody, five terrorists uh, killed uh, in uh, Combril yesterday. At least, uh, therefore, uh, the one man on, on the run, the suspected young vehicle driver and possibly more. So the police operation is uh, still very much a live one. Chris, thank you for that. Chris Moore reporting there from Barcelona.